Hey everybody, welcome back to The Walking Dead, Episode 2, Starving for Help. This is Part 2 of the uh, video that I'm doing. So we've talked to everybody in the group so far, except for the new guy, Mark, and the asshole, Larry. So we should probably go talk to him. We didn't give any of them food. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hmm. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Capture can save him. Yeah. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. And here you can choose who to give the axe to. A small cosmetic change in the future will happen depending on who you give it hey, to. I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Or who Get wants to rest. give it to Larry? I mean, sure he's an Lee's asshole. I'm pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that and see, there's Mark parroting the uh, words you told him there, from earlier in the right. episode. What are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Not cool, man. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make so once you've here. talked to everybody, he Katja will call you over here. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Yeah, poor what guy. The other kid? I tried to answer here, but this will happen. Well, shit. Well, here we go again. More button mashing. Here, you can hit left or right to slam his head into the truck. Really doesn't matter what you pick, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. And here, try to punch him back, and Mark will miss. Now if you gave the X to Larry, he would be over there and he'll be missing. Now kick him away, that's pretty much all you can do right now. And then uh, back up using the left analog stick. You'll drop down. He will follow you. Some more uh, button mashing. Oh, man. Now, if you don't have Carly with you, actually, uh, Doug will try to help by swinging a board at the thing, but you'll end up killing it yourself. You're going to get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? Doug isn't the fighter that Carly you is. Didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, you're not That's a good scene you right here. And tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's going to happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? 
I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Take what you wish. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh, he just said the magic word. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? So you can choose not to go, but you'll be outvoted by everybody, so you may as well choose to go. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. So we got a big bombshell dropped on us, and now we've met some people who run a dairy. Interesting. Now this conversation with Carly obviously only happens when you have her with you, but it's kind of interesting. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Looks like my buddy Vinheim is popping online. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Hey, Vin. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it. Then. It shouldn't matter anymore, yeah, right. I think. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? <laughs> I like the motor and option, right even if I didn't pick it. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? So now they're just fishing for information. I don't like to give information out that easily. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? <laughs> Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for... Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Uh-oh. Get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always okay. pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. They and you guys will keep it There's only two. Oh, no. There's a lot more. Yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. Let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck! 
Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Hmm. Well, one less bandit in the world. Who cares? Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. I will admit this place looks you perfect. Can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. That's true. It's all the juice. I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? <laughs> We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. <laughs> a vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food? It sounds like they need us just as much as we need them. Especially with the vet. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? <laughs> I always opt for the uh, make sure the place is safe option. The other one just seems a little too eager beaver for me, I guess. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things. Or maybe that's just the pessimist in me. I don't know. You know, you're playing a video game about The Walking Dead. You're not going to go to a farm and live the rest of your life there happily. Just put it that way. And you know this. And you know this. Okay, now we have uh, free reign once again. Uh, walking the perimeter is the next big job we got to do. Uh, so until we talk to Andy, uh, the bigger brother, and tell him we're ready to go, we can look around.
Now check out this swing over here. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How did it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. So, we can fix the swing if we know how. Or we could just completely ignore it. It doesn't really matter in the long run, but, you know, for the sake of the video, let's fix it. Now, you can come up here and knock on the door so you can talk to Brenda if you wished. All this is skippable, of course, but I like talking to her. Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy. That's a good question. Like There's like nobody around the farm. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? <laughs> Why do you ask? Now that's kind of a tacky question. I'll admit. It looks custom built. Nice it's a fairly good recovery though, Lee. Good job. <laughs> oh, you did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Okay, back to fixing the swing. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's. Oh, here's another interesting note. You can actually check out all these things around the farm, like the ribbons. Uh, inside the house, there's a uh, Andy's college degree. Said they had picture of Terry and Brenda. Terry is, uh, of course, her husband. And it will change some dialogue later on in the episode. Pretty cool little changes, you know. Just you being observant changes the dialogue and how you talk to people. Cool little touches like that is what makes me love this game. Okay, well the rope for the swing can be found in this shoe bucket up here. Which I'm sure lots of people overlooked. Or didn't care to fix the swing, something. That's all we really need to do up here. You can check out the uh, flowers. No real reason to. And we need a board still. You can look at the picket fence. Hmm. Pointy. <laughs> That's cool. There's one of the generators they were talking about. Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Hmm. 
Here's the gate to the barn. Hey, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Which Andy definitely doesn't want you to go near for some reason. And you can see how they uh, warn people that, you know, they got the electric fence turned on with the light bulbs. Which is definitely good to know. Trust me. And here's some boards over here. It's too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. And there's a saw nearby. Well, those two things definitely go together. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> And we got the board for our swing. So those two items have already been uh, kind of bundled together there in our inventory. So we can walk right over to the swing and interact with it and we will have fixed it. As you can see, pretty easy. Alright, this shouldn't be too tough. Be damn. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, <laughs> it does. And so we have ourselves a swing. Good for us. Well, we've interacted with everything you can interact with. So go ahead and talk to Mark. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. Generator might be a problem. Andy said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor is. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Yeah, it's more secure than the motor in. Except for when it comes to real humans, I would imagine. They could probably take down a fence pretty easy, electric or not. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? <laughs> yeah, if anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. He better remember that. First people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? Well, that's neat. Well, this is the end of this video, guys. We will go walk the perimeter in the next video. And, uh, we'll just see how that goes. Okay, well, I'll see you guys then. Later.